Now, I read this week about a boy who went to camp, and while he was in camp, he got a box of cookies from his mom, and he ate a part of the box, and then he stuck the rest of it under his, his bunk. He came back later, and the cookies were gone. He told the counselor that someone had stolen his cookies, and the counselor the next day saw a particular boy who was pretty troublesome sitting behind a tree or hiding behind a tree and polishing off the rest of that box of cookies. He came to the first boy and said, Billy, I know who stole your cookies, but I want you to do me a favor. Write to your mom or call your mom and ask her to send you some more cookies. And so he did that. And the cookies arrived, and he brought them to the counselor and said, well, well, the cookies are here. And the counselor said, I want you to go to the boy who stole the first box and share them with him. And he said, what? He's a thief. Why would I share cookies with him? He stole the first box. He says, I just want you to trust me. Go and share them with him. And that counselor says that it wasn't a half an hour that the two boys were walking back up the hill, arm in arm, with the first boy who had stolen the cookies, apologizing, asking if there's any way that he can repay what he had done to steal that first box. There's a miracle waiting to happen when we follow God's principles. And when we refuse to follow God's principles, there is a cost as well. And we are told that it is a barrier to answered prayer if we do not have a forgiving spirit to other people. 